Hi everyone, in this video we're going to be talking about Revelations 12 and 13 of the Bible. But we'll start off by talking about Revelation 13 first of all. Now Revelation 13 is when the beast out of the sea and the beast out of the earth begin to rise. And the beast out of the earth brings with it the mark of the beast. Now on the ITV program The Chase, the Mark Chaser is known as the Beast. So that is just more symbolism of this in the Bible. <clears throat> but um, that 16 represents 2016, that 17 represents 2017, and that 18 represents 2018. Like, because basically, th this event right here is supposed to happen this year. Then this event right here is supposed to happen next year. And then this event right here is supposed to happen in 2018. Now, whether these events will actually happen, we don't know. Like, I mean, they're going to happen one day, but whether it'll be in our lifetime, I'm not so sure. Um, like, Notice I, I said they're supposed to happen, so they might not definitely happen during these years. Like, they might just keep throwing out more symbolism of this stuff that is coming. Because <clears throat> we don't know about dates. So, here's Revelation 12, where the dragon, Satan, comes after this heavenly woman. See this woman right here, that's wearing white for heaven, she, and she's barefoot and stood on this moon. <clears throat> Here it is again, 13 for 2013, 14 for 2014, 15 for 2015, 16 for 2016, and 17 for 2017. <clears throat> so this event is supposed to happen this year, and then this event is supposed to happen next year. Look what it says, And the earth helps the woman, and the earth opens her mouth and swallows up the flood, which the dragon cast out of his mouth. Now, have we got anything about a flood coming that has been shown in real life recently? Yes, we have. We had this one storm <clears throat> that um that basically happened in Manchester in England. See, it involves flooding. See. It even goes back to the flooding to do with Noah's Ark. <clears throat> and it says that Satan will fall as lightning. The thunder and lightning's got to do with God's wrath, by the way. And storm even represents just like storm in X Men. It's even five hours ago for the fifth age of the Bible coming. And then <clears throat> even the fifth angel coming, which is known as Satan. <clears throat> so. Yeah, like, even these flights being diverted um, is symbolism as well. Because I'll show you why in a minute. <clears throat> See this oil ship for the wise virgins? This is our escape into heaven. Because we've got to get on this ship to escape. So those planes, those flights represents our ascendancy into heaven. Because we have to get on this flight, we have to get on this ship to get into heaven. So these flights are being diverted, so it, so it represents the Satanists blocking our escape. Because once Jesus Christ closes the door to heaven, then there's no escape other than going to the guillotines. That's the only way that you will escape this doomed planet if you don't go through the door. <clears throat> like, here in Hollyoaks, this Cameron character represents Satan and the dragon that comes after these women, these heavenly women, Leela and Perry. I, 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 I don't um, exactly remember, but I think that Leela might be pregnant. 
So it, it represents um, the woman who is about to give birth to our immortal souls. And Cameron killed his brother, Loki. So it's like a Cain and Abel situation. Like, <clears throat> and see Loki, just like Loki in the Avengers, and even just like Ryan Loki, who was on Dancing with the Stars. See, this, this is in one of the Groxed One's recent videos, see? <clears throat> I'm not kidding, this is real. Like, see, the, there's even people protesting against Ryan Lockie. See, they've got uh, Lockie crossed out on their shirt. This represents Satan crossed out. So that he gets bound in the pit for a thousand years. Well, anyway, let's see that symbol right there. That represents the seals to open the abyss. See, it was even shown to do with this Deadpool movie, see? And then even if we zoom in on this one ancient hieroglyph right here, you even see that same symbol. This is going really deep now, guys. This is like the ancient secrets of the Bible and the ancient secrets of God. Makes you feel like Indiana Jones, doesn't it, going through all of this stuff. <clears throat> see that, um, see that same symbol right there? That, see that same symbol on the Egyptian hieroglyph is the exact same symbol as this. And this, see? So, Ryan... Loki was dancing on Dancing with the Stars. Just like Tom Hiddleston, who plays Loki in the Avengers, he dances a waltz in the Crimson Peak movie. So you see how this is the same symbolism over and over again. Here it says the waltz of love, but here it says dark waltz. So they're, they're almost like polar opposites. Except it's the same dance, so I'm kind of confused about that. But, um, yeah, for those who don't know, Mia Vasikowska, a.k.a. Edith Cushing, represents the woman of the Bible. That woman that we showed way at the start of this video. Should I remind you? That woman right there. So that's who Leela in Hollyoaks represents. <clears throat> and even, um, like, Natalie in Action Man represents her as well. See how Leela has blonde hair. See how Natalie has blonde hair. <clears throat> See how Ma Mia Vazikowska has blonde hair as well. See, even, um, it says Labelle there, doesn't it? <laughs> where it links back to this Labelle thing to do with Sleeping Beauty, because Sleeping Beauty represents that woman as well, that heavenly woman of the Bible. <clears throat> and this French connection even links to Léa Sedot, the actor who's in the James Bond film Spets. Sorry. <clears throat> Yeah, the French connection represents um, Léa Sadou, the actress who was in the James Bond movie, Spectre. Because Léa Sadou represents the woman of the Bible as well. So Léa Sadou played Belle in a French version of Beauty and the Beast. Because that's right, Belle in Beauty and the Beast represents the woman of the Bible. And that's why um, Emma Watson is playing Belle in, in the English Beauty and the Beast movie. 
because Emma Watson represents a woman of the Bible as well. And um, she also represents, she also plays Hermione in Harry Potter. And Hermione represents the woman of the Bible as well. See this one play called The Winter's Tale by William Shakespeare. Um, see Perdita right there. Just like the actress Perdita Weeks. She represents the woman of the Bible as well. <clears throat> There's even a witch called Hermione in... The Winter's Tale. Literally. I think that's where J.K. Rowling must have got the idea from. A witch called Hermione in The Winter's Tale and a witch called Hermione in Harry Potter. It can't just be a coincidence. <clears throat> like, see, this character here represents the woman of the Bible as well. She's wearing white for heaven. And she's ready to give birth to our immortal souls, see? I'm not kidding, this is real. So she represents her. See how obvious this is? They're both wearing white for heaven. And they're both ready to give birth, see? See that even this wo even that woman shown on this mural right here, see that woman ready to give birth? Even Colin Baker, who played the Sith Doctor in Doctor Who, um, represents that we have to get into the Sith Age and we have to pass over the Fifth Age. That's why he's wearing blue for Jesus, Israel and Jacob. And then Chelsea Healy represents the woman of the Bible because she's wearing white for heaven and blue for Jesus. So... He, even he earned £50,000 for his team in this episode of The Chase on ITV. And um, he went up He went, went up against the beast, Satan, literally. So it represents Jesus going against Satan. Because Colin Baker represents Jesus and then Mark Levette represents Satan, literally. Like he, yeah, so as I was saying, he won £50,000 for, for his team here. Rep the £50,000 re represents the fifth age of the Bible coming and the fifth angel. But, but he, uh, he lost the money at the end of the episode along with his other teammates. Um, representing that there's no more grace and mercy. Because. The charities didn't get as much money as they should have. Like. So, yeah, Colin Baker's obviously wearing blue for Jesus there. Just like Emma Watson, Belle, is wearing blue for Jesus here. And obviously she's wearing white for heaven as well. See that? Same with Kim, Daisy Woods Davis in Hollyoaks. She's wearing Believer Jesus and she's wearing White for Heaven. Because she represents the woman of the Bible, see? See White for Heaven again. Here she's wearing green. Just like Sienna is wearing green as well. Because both Sienna... And Kim represent the woman of the Bible. Look, even the 5th of September for the 5th age, the 4th of September for the 4th age, they refresh their opening titles for the first time in six years, the 6th for the 6th age. And you even see her Kim's sexy feet here. 